All right. How do I play this game again? Dude, I haven't played video games since Friday. That's not true. I played a little bit yesterday. I played some video games. Romero looks like dime. Except for, like, everything. Whoa. Speakers are fucking going crazy. Unplug that shit. Okay. If Dime could grow that- dude, I can't even imagine. Dime with long hair like that, that would be so funny. All right. Oh yeah. I was just doing all the side quests. So many. I know where that is. Oh wait. What was this last one? Crew quarters. Whoops, god damn it. How do I play this game? Have I like explore oh yeah, I remember that okay. Yeah, it's a long game, and I'm slow, and I decided that people are, like, way too fast, so there was no point in me, like, trying to rush to finish it to try to do the speedrunning bullshit. Talos, we'd like to remind you that company policy requires you to log any voluntary extension of your work hours with the station counselor. We know the projects aboard Talos 1 are exciting, but even the brightest mo- Just be called playing the video game. Like a normal human. I mean, fuck, when my dad plays this game, it's going to take him like 80 hours. That's seriously how slow he is. It's insane. Like, he played Dying Light. That game took me... 45 hours with the expansion. So 30 for the base game, and then 15 for the expansion. And it took him like 120. It's crazy. Nope. And he's been playing, uh, Prey 2006, and I'm pretty sure he's already played more than me and he's not done. Come here, buddy. But yeah, he is very slow. He doesn't even, like, be that slow on purpose. He just is 
He's always been like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, that game was really fun. I liked it. Where'd he go? Well, I mean, he was like that when he was young, too, so... <laughs> Hey, sixes. Sixes. Hmm. What am I doing here? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I need to find those. What the fuck? Wow. All right. Jesus. There's that. Well, I already know where, where he is. Nicole Hags or whatever the hell. I'm looking. Where the hell is she? There. Oh no! Sorry. God damn.
a lot of stuff. Okay. Back down to level one. behind this. Oh yeah, I have to play the thing on the piano. Or something. Or I have to play it for my transcribe. I don't know how to do that. Hey, Techie Cat. Uh, I haven't really watched the full speedrun yet because, you know, I don't want to. Because of spoilers. At least at the ending. But I've seen the beginning. And it's pretty cool from what I've seen. I mean, you get out of bounds like instantly. And the way that the beginning of the game is, it's like, I don't know, it's neat. You can skip like all the cutscenes at the start. The it's cool. To a blade. It was the first time Maya heard him, and we were both. I felt small in the light of his skill. I can play it now too, thanks to a neuromod, but only in my head. You used a guest neuromod. I copied their neuroscans and hid the data on my transcribe. Fabricated my own mods. I'm not proud of the act. Now, I'm glad I did. All right. So, from here... Oh, yeah. Okay, I have to go back up there. I need to go to this area. And then Cargo Bay. Yeah, let's do that. The game definitely starts feeling more open near the end of it. I mean, obviously, you kind of have the ability to go everywhere. But I mean, it's pretty open even at the start, I think, if you like. It kind of nudges you in 
certain directions, of course, but if you don't follow what they're, you know, what the game is telling you to do, then I'm sure you could go anywhere, pretty much, even at the start. Alright, how do I get to the guts area? like the music in this game. There it is. Here we go. Uh, it's like 19 gigs, I think. Something around there. Yeah, for sure. Hey, look, you can't, um... Oh, never mind. I know they fixed the duplicating glitch in the patch, so... You can't easily dupe materials anymore by just recycling the same materials. So that's too bad, but also is good. Wow, I have 69 Psy Hypos. I definitely have a problem. Alright, that's good enough. You think it's small? I guess compared to a lot of new games coming out lately, but I think a lot of companies are just becoming lazy with their compression shit. Also, this game is entirely single player, so... I know, exactly. Like, why is that game 50 gigs? <laughs> I guess because of the mega texture bullshit or whatever. I think it uses that stuff, right? The same stuff as Doom 2016? Maybe not, I don't know. And like, Rage. I don't even know why I just got all those, but now I have them, so... Might as well get this, since it's so good. Thank you for choosing value wrap. A lot of time it's audio. Yeah, that's true. I remember, um... Max Payne 3 was like fucking massive and it was because of the all the animations they had for Max Hey Trides Yeah, it's actually kind of annoying I think they don't compress as much now because like they assume that well I mean first of all people just people can handle that much space now like, their hard drives are big and stuff. But, like... My internet sucks. And downloading an 80 gig game... Sucks ass. Takes, like, 4,000 years. But Steam actually does make it go faster. Alright. 
Let's look at that stupid, whoops. Stupid map. LB. There's like kind of a door thing, I guess, and like some sort of hallway. Engineering level B. Oh, okay. Oh, there it is, right there. Wow. Wow. Fucking wow. You made a bot face clone? Yeah, of course, if you pay me. Fucking millions of dollars. I honestly don't care. Darth Mouse, uh... Ow. What the fuck? What is that? Darth Mouse created a tap... Well, he added tapping to, uh... Nightbot or whatever. That's true. <laughs> you do already technically pay me, so... You can do whatever you want. I mean, you can do whatever you want regardless. God, I love radiation. Mmm. I eat it with my cereal. Honestly, Trides, if you can make it, like, better, that would be cool. <laughs> Somehow. I don't know how you could possibly make Botface better, but I'm sure it's possible. Whoops! I think it gives you, like, a long time. Oh my gosh. So much stuff I don't need. I have more control. Yeah, exactly. Also, you, like, know more stuff than I do. Back up. Yeah, exactly. Dude, I saw this, like, list of most important people in gaming, and fucking Carmack was, like, oh. Oh, yeah. Carmack was, like, 60th or something. I was, like, fuck you. Triggered me. I was, like, he should be in top 10. Top 5, at least. Uh, well, yeah, top five. I don't know, some stupid person. Hazardous course two. Dude, that's too confusing. It'd probably annoy me. 
Honestly, I haven't really looked at it that much. But it's all about finding secrets. Like, the main thing I suck balls at. Is that really a smart decision for me? I'd rather hop back on the Half-Life speedrun train. Which I already kind of am. I've been practicing. Probably gonna get a PB fairly soon. Yeah, maybe not all of the 2017 strats, because some of them are actually hard as fuck. But I don't need to use all of them to get an easy PB. No, it's not really peer pressure. It was the fact that um, Proto Os, he had he like found a way to use the like original thing, the original client. Like, even with the original menu and shit, and I was like, wow. And I checked it out, and then I learned the, uh, test chamber skip. That was actually the main thing. The fact that there's a test chamber skip, I mean, come on. Okay, so where do I go now? I forgot. It saves like a minute or so. Dude, where do I go now? I completely forgot. Were they in crew quarters? It's actually like the same thing that Half-Life 21 does, kind of. It's still pretty hard though, I kind of suck at it. doesn't help me. I don't know where... Oh, 
Oh, it probably is crew quarters. That would make sense, actually. Also, the fact that I never got a PB on uh, easy difficulty. Anyway, it's like it's even more time that I could save. Plus all the new stuff. So sub thirty-two, no problem, basically. Although my bunny hopping fucking sucks. This mouse, I feel like, is not very good for it. <clears throat> gravity detected. Really? Have I not explored this shit? Got 900 on the test chamber. With the Zowie, or Zoe, FK1. Oh shit. Dude, what the fuck? Oh, I remember this area. Yeah. The mouse wheel is not very good, is it? I mean, it's good for like everything else. <laughs> I mean, it's a fucking mouse wheel. It's not like you really... Think about how good a mouse wheel is outside of Half-Life and stuff. So, can I not get out of here? Is that what I'm seeing? Jeffrey Dean Morgan. That's his last name, though. First name is Jeffrey, so... Doesn't really count. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. All clear. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. Oh, really? Diagnosing. Bruising. Abrasions. Fatigue. I'll have you feeling better soon. All done. You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk. Hey, dude. Nicole. That's so she didn't why, make why it. What are you doing? I... You didn't have to do this, but I... Thank you, ma'am. And Morgan? I owe you an apology. Once you vanished into the sim lab, Sarah asked me to try and learn what I could from the psychotronic staff discreetly. I took too long, but I... Learn you were in the lab without your consent. I didn't even consider that possibility. When we heard, Sarah was quick to begin action against your brother, but then... Well, things fell apart. I should have worked harder, dug deeper, especially after all you've risked for us. I'm sorry. You better be. Are you alright? Let me know if I can help. With the lifts running, I might be able to get to crew quarters. See if Nicole made it. She didn't. I killed her. 
This is a reminder that all cargo must be scanned and cleared by authorized personnel. You are the first Doctor Morgan. Thank you. I feel like we have a chance now. This this doesn't wipe away what you and your brother did, but you're different than I expected. Good in a fight, too. I mean, I didn't kill her, but Dr. I... You. Oh. I heard you found Very innovative thinking. Cycling the main reactor. Mika filled me in. I knew him. Um. I didn't know him. Involved in the smuggling ring Wait, on the what? Stage. Thought he was a friend. Guess I wasn't. Microgravity upsets my equilibrium. I need to steady myself after the slow roll of the crate. Oh, I could feel it turning, you know? My stomach along with it. So Where I have to talk to him in the vertical? lobby, not here. And claustrophobia. Must be a neuromod that could cure that. Alright. It's kind of weird. So, crew quarters and the lobby. Hello, are you here for an appointment? Yeah, I guess it's not zero gravity, huh? You okay? Life support. Yep, let's do it. Pretty bad. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to wrench everything. Hey, dude. Actually, wait, what? Hello, are you here for an appointment? Like, yeah. Diagnosing looks like you've had a rough day. Please hold still. This will only take a moment. All done. What?
It's the bald Russians you have to watch out for. forever. Up some more supplies. Take what you need and don't be shy about using it. I don't think they will. You're gonna hate me in about two seconds. Your office is much relatively better. secure. Yes. Come back Vision's if you clear. need to rest or Those use the fabricator. The trick. Morgan. I haven't had much success in calling up more fabrication plans, but I did have a design for a psychoscope chipset I've been tinkering with. Finally. if you found some use for it. Thank you. It's a strange feeling. I hold Lightner's gift to the world in my hands. He will live on. I wish my wife could have heard him play again. That was brave of you. To recover the connectomes for me? I... I appreciate it. I appreciate all you and Transtar have done for me. Oh shit. God, I have too many. Need six to get more. I'd like to listen to it. I can make six. If you're ready, Morgan. No, I can't. Is this a joke? Yep. I've always felt that consciousness is more like music than computation. Totally. All of these in my eye sockets right now. I'm 
All right, time Any for you to hate me. Finding a way up the Morgan. station. January has been showing me around. You designed me to Fuck, dude. Okay. Where is it? You came back because but I can't your ears were burned. Them, and the truth of that statement is questionable on many levels, Chief Ilyushin. Well, I already did that. I don't think it is. Oh, this? No. <laughs> How do I do it? Don't worry. Not about me in January, anyway. The two of us can hold down the fort here. my deliberation over the fate of the shuttle advent i'm unable to determine with confidence if the advent departed before being contaminated by the life forms presently overwhelming talos one best guess based on telemetry data advent departed approximately 30 minutes prior to the first incident report logged by security 30 minutes it is within that narrow gap of uncertainty i must decide whether or not to remote detonate the shuttle and its five passengers they may very well be flying a cargo hold full of mimics to an unsuspecting Earth. They may not. Captain! We could sure as hell use that golden gun right about now! I don't... kind of reservoir of all the energy the Typhon have been accumulating. Is this a joke? <laughs> I don't think this is supposed to be complicated. The security station oh, in the lobby might have it. weapons. Morgan. Morgan, I've been waiting. We can listen to the log now. Okay. How? Oh. Thank you. 
marks. I'm calling to let you know I've authorized a full evacuation of... Captain? Did I... I thought... Your shift isn't for another two hours, but I need you to come in now. Is everything okay? No. It's not. Stop by my cabin first. Bring the gun from my safe. Transmitting the key code. Right away, Captain. Oh shit! You're right. God, Initiating finally. test procedure twenty nine, variant C, subject V dash zero one zero six five five dash thirty two. Subject thirty two is in the chamber. Psychoscopes on, everyone. Do you have a family? Prep the Typhon Cacoplasmus. I have a daughter. They took me from her. I was promised I would see her again. I signed your papers. Let's stay focused, everyone. Your family. You must hate them very much to do this. I hear it in your voices. Track his vitals. 32 is showing signs of distress. Elevated cortisol, heart rate, perspiration. Nothing in the red yet. Look at me. Look at the man you're killing. Mimic is in the tube. Permission to release? Morgan? What you do kills us both. Release. Mm -hmm. Typhon cacoplasma specimen is in the chamber with subject 32. Subject, uh... Subject vital signs are gone. Ooh. Make a note. Replication followed the usual pattern. Appears unaffected by the subject's age. Morgan, did you get a good scan? Nope. Yeah. Oh. Data looks good. Scrub it and send it out to me as soon as you can. I want a new design on the mimicry connectomes before I dive into the sim again. And now she's going to attack me. You? Perform the procedure? The what? Killed him? And you knew? Why? And to think, Morgan... I thought you were trying to help me. Why would you save me to do this? To buy back some guilt? So I'd forgive you? My father is right. You don't understand. Your father, mother, your stupid, deluded brother. You will never understand family. You don't even understand what it means to be human. Get the hell away from me. Well, this is my office, so... Morgan. See ya. Yeah, that was pretty fucked up of me, but, you know. She's gonna find out eventually anyway. What, I did? No, I didn't. It's a sick lie game. You got me. <clears throat> I mean, the only other option, well, I think there are two other options. It's to completely ignore it or to delete it. If you delete it, she would probably just be searching for her father, like, forever. Until she eventually gave up. Or you can show her and be like, hey, I was an asshole before I lost my memory. Isn't that cool? Wait, I'm still an asshole? Fuck.
Yeah. I mean, I don't know. This game kind of forces you to be an asshole. Ow. Good evening, Talos. Dr. Hadley Dalton will deliver a supplemental seminar on neural connectomes in the lobby training center later this week. Sounds exciting. Sounds exciting. Space right. is limited, so reserve your seat by emailing Dr. Dalton. Yeah. Like, basically, you're the main villain of the game. Like, you and your past life. Like, before you lost your memory. Because you're, like, the major asshole. Like, you think that your brother is the asshole, but it turns out it's you. Bioshock Infinite was kind of the same way, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're like, well... I mean, it kind of does something, but at the same time, it's like... You feel no connection to your previous self, considering you didn't do any of that, like, as the player. So it's like... I don't know. It's a little bit cheap. It's cool though. Cheap yet cool. Bioshock ones, yeah, kind of the same way. It's a little bit similar. Adventures, what? Huh. I'll have to make that. Excuse me? Oh. Oh, it's one of those. It's a spooky guy. I like how he picked up his dead friend with his telekinesis. Oh, 
Oh shit. No, oh, that'll get him. <laughs> that worked. I wish you could play the pinball machines. This game has less interactivity with stuff than Prey 2006. I want to gamble. And stuff. That actually surprises me that there's no casino on this, sh like, station. Alright, so... I mean, I need to find two more drop points, but honestly, I don't care. I'm not gonna search the entire fucking place. I already did that. That basically ends the game, so I can't do that. And then that's not even actually a... I guess I could attract the nightmare three times just to get rid of this. I don't really see the point. Wait, can I not go? Oh no, I can. I mean, I have no idea. I think I'm getting close, though. Actually, I want to... This might not be worth it. Wasted all of it. I need three. I only have two.
cool. God, I love loading screens. Not as bad as Quake Champions, at least. version of you is the true Morgan, but why? Just because it came first? If someone had made you, then I suppose your truest self would be the one that fulfills whatever purpose your maker intended. I know who made me, and why. Did someone make you, Morgan? Were you made for something? If not, you'll have to invent your own purpose, or have none at all. Strangely, of all the things I know about you, I don't know what you believe. You have to decide, Morgan. Who are you? I'm currently deciding. Back. I want to kill you. There we go. Oh wow, I killed it.
January was right. It was not you. But... I keep hearing your voice. And my father's voice. And... It was not you, I know. You saved me because you wanted to. That is not the same person on the recording. Something's changed. I need to see that. I'm... better now. I'll do what I can to get us off the station alive, but that log is coming with me. If you truly want forgiveness, you'll help me get it to where it belongs. No matter what that means for you, and Tronstar. Wow, she's really forgiving. That's good. Okay. Scan complete. More specimens required. Fascinating. It's holding the psyche of all their victims. Your hunch was on the right track. It's a kind of neural structure. Synaptic like activity up and down the length of it, like it's communicating. Just one more to go. I knew you could handle this. Our father warned me not to stake so much of the company's future on your ideas. I was right to ignore him. We're a good team, Morgan. Yeah, you're not doing anything. Oh, they're both in here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Descent four, yeah. Oh shit. Something. The reconstruction is destabilizing. They're lying to you. To you. Just a scan summary, but wait, what is there's some kind of neural trip wire built into the coral? Christ, Morgan, get back to my office. We have to get your data uploaded now. Hurry. Hey, Javon.
Use my terminal to upload the data. I'll get it integrated into the fabrication plan for the new null wave device as fast as possible. And be careful. The Typhoon will begin to sense our intent to harm the Coral. They're gonna come after you. I left something for you on my desk that should help. A grenade launcher. Star Board of Directors has authorized me to take full command of Talos One. Yeah, that's Effective what I was thinking. Immediately. All employees must now report to the Shuttle Bay for evacuation. Those of you unable to comply, transmit an SOS and my team of rescue operators will locate you. One last thing. Alex and Morgan Yu have been relieved of their positions. Do not consent to their requests or assist them in any way. Null out. There's another one right there. Get him! Morgan, Doll will know you're coming. All Transtar personnel are outfitted with tracking bracelets. I have no doubt his operators are already on their way to... Oh, look at them lasering you. each other. Those bracelets are issued and removed in deep storage. Worth investigating if you want to fly under the radar. Holy shit. Huh. 
that's cool. Good evening, Talos. Dinner is served in the cafeteria from 6 to 8 p.m. Morgan, I heard the announcement. No, no, I will not give you up. You are there for me, I am here for you. If you'd indulge me, I have a proposal that could get us off Talos 1 without any more bloodshed. Just don't harm Dahl until we've had a chance to speak in person. Well, fuck. I think I'm gonna go back up and go through another loading screen. See you. This is Alex Yu, speaking to any surviving crew of Talos One. I know many of you are fighting, angry. Perhaps you blame me for what's happened. But I never intended to harm any of you. Believe me, it's quite the opposite. Commander Dahl, on the other hand, had no intention of rescuing anything except the secrets aboard this station. Do all liabilities to the company now. Dahl, I'm sure you can hear me. I don't know what my... what the board told you, but you're out of your depth on this one. Call off your operators, or... At least help us hold back the Typhon. We're on the verge of... Oh shit. Your brother, he likes a microphone. A spotlight. He can't resist. Even though he's hiding. And you are running around like a nervous rat. I hear you. Chewing the wires and shitting in the walls. Are you trying I'm not shitting. to fix the mess you've made? Or just get away? I pride myself in being prepared for the worst. But this, this is truly a masterpiece. You should be proud. Guess I'll stop shitting in the walls if I have to. All right, I wanted to go to uh, the 
deep storage or whatever. Workstation, what's that? Oh no! Alright, well, I'll just hack all of them. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. to fight him. Oh no! Aww. Operator deployment resuming. Dr. You? Morgan? Oh man, thank God. I've just been going down the contact list hoping somebody would answer. I'm in trauma center. I came up here to look for supplies. I think I broke my arm when that blackout happened. Now I'm trapped. Aliens outside the door. I could really use some help, man. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Hopefully he doesn't die or something. Because I take too long. Could be one of those hidden timer missions. Some Mass Effect 2 shit. Operator deployment resuming. these batteries pretty soon, probably. Disruptor batteries. Ah. Get him!
Ow, what the hell? Another one. <laughs> when your military robot gets destroyed by a person with a wrench. Okay. Not here. Hey, Bobby. Hello, are you here for an appointment? Diagnosing bruising, abrasions, fatigue. Nothing life threatening. Please hold still. This will only take a moment. All done. You can fill out a questionnaire at the front desk. Uh, kind of. Whoops, that was my robot. No, oh, whatever. Alright, well, I'm confused right now. There's this giant, um, pretty giant alien that chases you around on Nightmare difficulty, called the Nightmare, and it's kind of a boss. Turn the power back on.
Oh. Right. Fuck it. It probably is. I don't care about him that much. Just kidding. I care a lot. God damn it. Oh my god, there's a lot of them now. Whoa! Holy shit. I'm leaving. What? I could just see this. Alex, this is Captain Marks. I'm calling to let you know I've opted full up. evacuation of Talos One. I've tried to issue a mayday to Earthside operations, but our external communication systems are malfunctioning. If you're still with us, we're keeping our posts until the last pods are. We did it. Attention, station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. I've been thinking about what you've done, what you're doing. 
We all must act according to our nature. No matter what the psychologists and priests say, and your nature. I think I was right before. Burden is a kind of pestilence of the mind. This station was your laboratory, and the experiment was a failure. And, of course, sadly, you know what happens to the rats when they are no longer needed. Yeah, he really likes talking about rats. Go, go, go. Wake up. Shit. Definitely how you're supposed to do this. Dude is completely destroyed. Wow. Hello, good to see you again, Doctor Yu. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical kit can handle. This won't take long. There, all better. Requesting new operator. No. Fucking stop it. And crash. See it. Weapon spiral is pretty cool. Deploy. Please stand clear of the aperture. Oh, he died. Did I fail? Oh, it was an ambush. Hmm. So he was already dead when I got here? Well, dang. Okay. Have I not been in here? Oh, yeah.
Hey, Sergeant. I could just repair my own suit, but I only have 29. I was worried Dalo, his rescue team, had intercepted you. They are NCA-9 black box operators, not a rescue team. Rescue is not among their list of commands. January, not now. Yes, of course. But Dal, his arrival may help us, as long as you have not killed him. You see, Dal, he's a recipient of several neuromods, a standard array of combat, tactics, interrogation mods. As I'm sure you know, your father, the board, is very thorough. Dr. Igwe, please present your conclusion to Morgan. Igwe, if there is a point. Ah, uh, well, yes. You see, Dull's mods are early C-series betas and vulnerable. As such, he has old-school thinking on some matters. If we remove them, he may forget his mission here. Yet we would still have access to the shuttle and a way home. Provided his piloting knowledge remains intact. It's a risk, but worth taking, I think. He'll have to be subdued, of course. I'm afraid that task falls to you. There is no one else alive on the station who can pilot the shuttle. It's worth a try. And there's been enough killing. Morgan. This whole not killing people thing is going to take some time to get used to. I know, right? I should know everything by now. Shoot that with the crossbow. Well, maybe not. Anyway. I wonder how many neuromods I've taken. I'm guessing like 130, 132. 182? Jesus Christ! Well, 
Well, cool. Whoa, why is there no sound? Oh, there we go. Take that. God, why do I do this? I'm dying. What hurt me right there? Boy, please stand clear of aperture. Oh, turrets. Oh, hell yeah. Alex, this is Captain Dude. And Marks. I'm calling to let you know I've authorized a full evacuation of Talos 1. I've tried to issue a mayday to Earthside Op- Mr. Yu, this is Eddie Voss. I work down in cargo. The fact is, we've been stealing from you, sir. It started small, just uh, moving harmless contraband on and off the station. Pharma's food not on the safe list. Uh, I don't know, maybe you uh, your text and hardware enough, but uh, Lily got ambitious after a while. Started stealing neuromods, fabrication plans, selling them to trans star rivals. Yeah, sit on that for a sec, Mr. Yu. Kazma's got our IP now. Lily made me modify some of the old alarm panels around Talos so uh, <clears throat> we could uh, use them as dead drops. I'm certain a few of them still have company property. Three taps of the wrench will pop it open. Anyway, I, I just wanted to say uh, <clears throat> I never meant for things to get out of hand. It just. Uh, yeah, another one. Took on a life of its own, but I'd, I'd like to make it right any way I can. That's all. Please stand for I could like block this, that would be nice. Just 
There we go. God damn it. I mean, that's, that's enough room for me to get in as a cup. I don't know, I should try. I actually kind of wish I had that one, uh... Oh, look. Do it. Let's see what happens. is supposed to blow when the pod launch initiates, but I guess the bolts misfired. Could you help us out? You'd have to EVA to get the hatch off from the outside. I know it's a lot to ask. I don't know what else to do. Sit here and starve, I guess. There's an override switch behind the panel to force a pod launch, but don't hit that until the outside hatch is off. We'd be blown to bits. God fucking damn it. Calling to let you know I've authorized a full evacuation of Talos 1. Mayor, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Send an operator. That's what I'm doing, Niels. It's not responding. None of them are. Shit. Was it those things? Did they shut the air off? I don't know. It doesn't matter though, right? I mean, it should be hours before we run out. <sighs> no, Niels. The system is working in reverse. It's pulling oxygen out of the air. We've got... ten minutes. Tops. What? But... Frank, you in there, man? What's wrong with these pods? I... I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It's your job to know, damn it! You inspected them, right? Yes. Then why the hell is the launch sequence doing jack shit? I don't know, Drew. I'm sorry. What about your pod? Open up! I... I can't do that. What are you talking about? Bolts in the outside hatch misfired. We're stuck in the launch tube. 
So much to go on now. I mean, the biggest reason I think I'm gonna probably kill him is because I already killed a bunch of other people and it'd be kind of fucked up if I just suddenly started allowing people to live. I already killed like everybody. That's the spirit. <laughs> I'm usually not this evil when I play games. Hmm. save and do both and see what happens all right do it Morgan, would you please take the hatch off so I can go home? Oh. Get him. Really? That's typing? I don't think so. But get him anyway. Hell yeah. That's a good spot for him. The military operator couldn't do anything.
This is Captain Hale, Shuttle Exalt. I'm trying to hail the bridge, getting zip. Can you confirm, please? I have some system malfunctions. It's, uh, it's across the board. It's hard to make sense. I, I need to park ASAP. I recommend security detail when I come in. Hearing some noise in the cabin. Shit, what is going on? Get him. It's pretty awesome. Well, I think my plan to uh, block this works. Oh shit. I don't think you can destroy it at all. D. Yeah. Ever since I learned that you can move higher leverage stuff by throwing leverage one stuff into it. I've been like, ah, eh, it's not really that big that much of a use for it. Also, I have the mimic thing. Alright. What was I looking for? Hunter Hale. I saw that name earlier. Objective failed. Is that my only failed? Huh. Oh no!
Ooh, here's a thought. Fuck him up! Nope. Well, either or, I don't care. Oh, I tried. Remote hacking. That's a myth. That's not even real. Not even in the future. Apparently this game is sold pretty badly. That's weird. Yeah, they are. I mean, I didn't have good marketing here either. Well, I guess it, it was decent on like YouTube and shit. That's weird.
think it has to do with the name. Could be. This is a reboot, I mean... I'm at 80. I really don't need Psy Hypos anymore. 26, 26, 52 for all of them. Shit. I'm gonna have to recycle some of them. Get ammo. In fact, I'll do that right now. Not all of them. But like... 30 of them. Have to find Doll, Rescue Hunter Hale. Then rescue Frank and Emanuela. Stuff. I'm gonna get irradiated, but it's worth it. Radiation poisoning detected. Seek medical attention. Is that stuff? Hmm. I want it. Whoa. That's cool. Midlife. Midlife crisis. Yeah, I went through my midlife crisis at age 12. So that's ominous.
<laughs> no. Yeah. I just hit him with my wrench a lot. Because I don't like hacking every single goddamn thing. I'll put one of these in front of this. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Next one that starts, like... Because I think those ones are out of operators, because they're not spawning any, even when there's not stuff in front of them. Fucking destroyed him. Hell yeah. I bet you are. Oh shit, is it gonna break? No! <laughs> really a little box? You broke through glue. Shut up. Aperture of the breed. Requesting new operator. Fuck you. I have a. Alright. And that's a C9 black box operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear about you. I'll stack dead operators in front of this thing. Maybe it'll scare him. God damn it. Oh shit, I think you're right. I am the obstruction. Ah, oh, whatever. security computers with help requests. Maybe someone will notice eventually. Yeah. Maybe.
What did I just do? Oh, now I can get on there. Huh. Well, I think I'm gonna go to the exterior first before I do the doll shit. <laughs> no. Oh, really? Is it actually important? Oh, okay. Well, shit, I only need one more thing to complete the scientist thing. So let's do it. I am officially a scientist. Now I can eat apples and pomegranates and gain more health. This is William Yu, acting chairman of the Trans Star Board of Directors. I will need your credentials to authorize this mission. Of course. My authentication sign is Zeta Invictus Emperor Tangerine. Sign checks out. Good morning, Director Yu. Shuttle is hot and holding orbit, awaiting mission parameters. You must secure every piece of cobalt clearance level technology and research aboard Talos 1. Then eliminate all Trans Star personnel. All personnel. No survivors. It's your show. And their funeral. Payment will be deposited into six separate Benelux accounts. After you transmit evidence of success. I leave my operator feeds on. Just keep watching. We strongly advise deploying your technical officer to a station router inside the firewalls first. Ideal site would be psychotronics. Yes, I've seen the schematics, Mr. Yu. Goodbye. You will destroy this transmission now. Oh, he did. Okay. I know, right?
A family of assholes. The asshole family. And his booze. Okay, so bottom power plant and then life support, I guess. Nitrogen flooding into the atmosphere. Anyone in the cargo bay will asphyxiate far more quickly than had he simply cut the oxygen. I suspect they'd already be dead if Dahl weren't trying to use them to manipulate you. Waste of time. Ah, what the fuck? Psychotronics is still locked.
alert. Repair is needed. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. It's so weak compared to the military ones. Why is everything uh, stupid? Oxygen nearly depleted. I expect loss of consciousness moments. Look, we'll see how our friend Morgan is done. 
even able to put a tap on Morgan's transcribe. Negative. The encryption is trivial, but another user is employing <laughs> countermeasures against me. I would like to dedicate more processing power to it. You can't stand to be beaten. No. Keep current allocations. Is it Alex? It's another operator. Improbable. There are none like me. Every one of you thinks that. Keep working. What is... transport with a medical operator. Then we can see about removing his neuromod, and hopefully gaining a shuttle in the process. Morgan, the air's flowing again. I can breathe. And I hope this means Dal can't. Thank you. A little longer and... Never mind. Elazar out. So I wonder what happens if I kill him now. Let's see. <laughs> Without Dahl, we have no chance of getting off the station. We're trapped here. Probably the same thing he says if you just kill him without incapacitating him first. Alrighty. can't go to the cargo bay from life support anymore. Insufficient. Material found. Stand 
winding down. so much of this stuff now. Microgravity detected. Doctor Yu, Doctor Igwe, we have the subject, Dal, and his life signs are stable. Thank you. We are prepping him in the Neuromod Division now. Come as soon as you can.
Steve, this is Captain Hale, Shuttle Exalt. I'm trying to hail the bridge, getting zip. Can you confirm, please? I have some system malfunctions. It's, uh, it's across the board. It's hard to make sense. I, I need to park ASAP. I recommend security detail when I come in. Hearing some noise in the cabin. Shit, what is going on? Yeah, I hope there's DLC or some sort of expansion or something. <clears throat> or a sequel. They can call it Prey 2. That would be pretty funny. Okay. Ow. Yeah. Okay, back to the shuttle bay.
Yeah, it's true. You get so many of them. <clears throat> but I mean, they do that because it is kind of an open game, so... this thing again. of something that could help. I couldn't get it off the station, but maybe it can help you. Well, my character officially makes no sense. Because I killed an entire escape pod of people earlier. <laughs> they were like on their way home. And they were like, oh, there's a good chance they didn't, uh, you know, there might be some Typhon shit there or something. They didn't know what to look for when they got on. So I was like, ah, kill them. did that. I regret it every day. Eight needles, but shove this giant six inch long one in your eyeball. Just do it, Mom. Whoops. Alrighty. To the Neuromod Division. Yep. Better than 0%. It's pretty good, actually. It'd be weird if she gave me something other than a Neuromod, though.
That would be cool. Oh, whoops. Fuck, I thought it was a Nermod division. I went to Psychotronics, though. Well, I guess I can do this. Maybe. He seems to hate it. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I've played Quake Champions. I played quite a bit in the first three, like, beta weekends. just super fucking annoying. Like the beta, the beta part of it is annoying. How the game like doesn't work. At least for me.
Because last time I played it, I mean, I tried to play, like, a lot. And in, like, 15 games, I got kicked out of, like, 13 of them. Or disconnected or whatever, you know? Like, it just happens so often. It might be... I might have to, like, reinstall it or something. I don't know. But it caught... It made me lose some interest in it for now. And I'm just waiting for when either the beta gets better or the game comes out. Hello. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but the actual game itself, I really like. Dude, what if it's this guy? Why are you just standing here forever? Oh, he's actually scared. Probably not the last time. Why is everybody hating on it at the moment? Because it's different. That's the main reason, but... I mean, yeah, there's probably some balance issues, of course. Now, I scanned two different ones. Map design. I think the maps are good. I don't really think people are disliking the maps, usually. Honestly, lately I've seen more love for Quake Champions than hate, but I've been watching Fatality and Rafa and I really like it. And 
cooler. The cooler likes it too. At least I assume he does. He always speaks Russian, so I don't know. It looks like he's having fun. Oh yeah, I've been in here. Hmm. It's not even the right area. Hey, how come they don't care? Oh. Operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. See ya. <laughs> and make sure there are no more mishaps with the air on this station. Okay, cool. Dow populated his entire crew with customized operators. He made the mistake of hanging his hopes in a machine. Flesh and blood is messy, Morgan, but it's the only thing that matters in the end. do that. Unless it's always like that. I don't know.
Dr. Yu, Morgan, I was afraid you wouldn't make it. The subject, doll, has been secured. I believe I've isolated the correct neuromod. It is essential we say as little as possible of what has happened on the station and focus on the situation. Dahl, memory serves, should resort to field training and react accordingly. He was never one to question orders. Ready when you are, Morgan. Remember, if this works, say nothing. When extracted, Dal's memory should revert back to the inception day, and he should forget his assignment here. <laughs> Doctor Yu. Hello, volunteer. Morgan. My name is Bianca Goodwin. I'm the volunteer and guest liaison aboard Talos One. I wanted to be the first person to congratulate you when you woke. On behalf of everyone at Transtar, well done and thank you. I'm sure you feel disoriented. This is because you've just experienced a medical procedure known as acto-regressive neurotomy. For the next few hours, you might have trouble with fine motor skills or recalling details. More importantly, your memory of the tests is completely gone. But don't worry. I want you to know your willing participation was a big success. It's already yielding valuable information for our scientists and engineers. So, what? please, rest Why easy you? for now. Morgan. Once you feel well Fathers. enough, I'll come by to conduct your Asking exit interview. You. See you soon. And Alex. I was supposed to report to him about her retrieval after modding up. Where am I? Why am I restrained? Commander. Dog. I am Dr. Igwe. Chief physician here. You've... I've seen your face in the company directory. Alex's pet. The discredited parapsychologist. Ah. Commander Dahl, you've suffered a severe head injury as a result of a crisis here on the station. We need to evacuate at once, but we... We couldn't leave without you. Are you able to pilot a shuttle? What? Yes, of course I can pilot a... Wait, what emergency? Is this Argus installation? Where's Casper? I'm afraid there's no time to explain. We need to get to the shuttle bay and prepare for departure. Transtar mandate. Doctor, you can confirm. Of course. Morgan, you look like shit. All right, let's get Daddy's precious child off the station, or Transtar will blackbox me. Just need to check your vitals. Wouldn't want our pilot to faint. There's nothing wrong with me. Morgan, we're in life support now. We'll meet you there. It's all clear. Air's normal across the board. I lost some good people fighting the black boxes. And Dal Hello. wasn't nice here. To see you. If you see Diagnosing. him before I do, like you've had a rough make day. him pay. This won't take long. Hold on. Please out. fill out a patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. I can pay. It's by design that I can predict what you're going to do fairly often. And yet, Lead the way, this man. turn of events we'll with Dal 
I'm impressed and surprised you've managed to find a way to get remaining crew off the station. I have no doubt they'll remember your sacrifice. Oh yeah, because I'm going to blow this place up. I guess I didn't realize that everybody didn't have to die with me. I promised you my arming cape. All I ask is you hear me out first. And you can blow Talos one to pieces if that's what you think is best. I don't think you'll do it. I know. Because I used to think we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me. You showed me anything was possible, even if the price was steep. That part of you is still in there. We can make history, Morgan. Not those leeches on the Transtar Board of Directors, not Mom and Dad. You and I. Just like we planned. We got the data to confirm what you suspected. And Carl is broadcasting a neural signal. 
A secret message reaching to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message and who is listening to it. I think you know, ever since we first tested the Typhon Neuromods, you've known. This fabrication plan is for the null wave device prototype you conceived. It will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Take it. And the army key, like I pro- What? Morgan! What is happening? Oh. Oh. Am I doing it right? Towers. Dinner is served in the cafeteria from Okay.
Fuck. Wait, what? Where did Alex go? What the fuck is going on? Where is he? Oh, I still have him? Okay. No, my flashlight. Obviously familiar. Probably sound more tired than usual. It's been never ending. Setting up the rooms and protocols to test the new mods. The risk is substantial. But if we succeed, copying neural networks from the Typhon onto human minds is going to change everything. So I'm putting myself in the sim. I've done everything I can to make sure I don't wind up lobotomized. One last safety measure. Let me introduce October. Say hello. Hello, Dr. Yu. October will help you remember what you're supposed to do if things go sideways. Once testing starts, there's no going back. If, when, they uninstall the mods and reset the test, it'll rewind me. I'll forget everything. Theoretically, they could keep me reliving the same day over and over, and I'd never know. If you're listening to this, that's probably what happened. It also means I don't know if I can trust my own brother. Alex won't like what I have to say next. I started plans for a prototype null wave strong enough to kill every Typhon on Talus 1. I hid a copy of the plan on top of the data tower by the scary chair. You know the one I'm talking about. Alex agreed to explore the idea, but I know my brother. First sign of trouble, he'd rather blow it all up and blame someone else. So, you're probably on your own. There's a lot at stake here. Too late to stick our heads in the sand. You know what to do. Alright, I guess I'm not blowing this place off. <laughs>
objective failed. Because I didn't. If you anticipated the kind of appeal Alex would make. Sibling bonds, history. You programmed me to refute him point by point. However, we can skip that. A Typhon the size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos One for lunch. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Destroy the station, just as you planned. The blast will yeah. take the monster down with it. Well, I didn't forget. I just didn't even know I had to. Dude, fuck off. Press quick load, and it loads the autosave. Dope. There you go, Alex, you're safe. We did it. Is he ever going to contact me or did I fuck that up? Oh wow, he's already you, awake. For what you did. You could have left me to die. It's more important than ever now that we finish this the right way. Take care of the no wave device. I'll head for the bridge as soon as I catch my breath. Yeah. Well, the alcohol one is not as bad. Morgan, you anticipated the kind of appeal Alex would make. Sibling bonds, history. You programmed me to refute him point by point. However, we can skip that. A Typhon the size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos One for lunch. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Destroy the station, just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. Destroy the station? But didn't you hear him? The null wave. Alex is correct. It could work and preserve what we have learned here. We have to try. Igwe, look at the alien outside the station. Of course it's a risk, but we've seen the generator work. To destroy all this, to murder a species, and the research lost. It's... January is right, Morgan. We can't let these things get back to Earth, even if one of them hit Earthside. Morgan, please. I don't know. I'm Destroying fucking them up. This station I feel be like we could handle them. Option, not the first. Alex, this is Captain Morgan. God damn it. <laughs> I'm calling to let you know I've authorized a full evacuation of Talos 1. I've tried to issue a mayday to Earthside operations, but our external communication systems are malfunctioning. If you're still with us, we're keeping our yeah. posts until the last pods are safely away. Mark out. Yeah.
Wow. There you are. What the hell is that thing out there? We don't have much time, Morgan. Morgan? I disagree strongly with people who advocate for the removal of instructive consequences, because they want to live in a world where no personal pleasure is ever denied. This is it. Either you destroy Talos One, or that creature destroys us. I think I failed my last side quest because unless he's if calling me. If the idea me, hasn't occurred to no. you, I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the apex, but all my models point to suffering. I just want to see what happens. Hacks everything? What do you mean? Do it. Kill them. Adrenaline. And another dose of Morgan cell light. Do it. That should do it. Come to the bridge. 
We can finish this thing once and for all. Assume Alex's plan succeeds. Then what? You're taking a massive gamble that there aren't more predators like the Typhon. In the history of the universe, humans have only recently become self-aware. Yet you're going to kick the door open on a much wider and older cosmic ecology. One that feeds on consciousness. These are shark-infested waters. Hello. Alex believes we can be the bigger shark. But what if Could we're I just poor swimmers? Position? And now there's blood in the water. Hello. Microgravity detected. Apparently they're thinking of adding a survival mode sort of thing in this game. That's what I heard anyway. There's like weapon degradation and you have to like watch your oxygen and shit. Could be cool.
What's the update on our patient? Commander Dahl is making a speedy recovery, and we are making our way to the shuttle bay. I've informed him of the threat to the station, and... Fine. Morgan, I'll meet you in the shuttle bay. Uh, not really Fallout New Vegas. What the hell have you done? I simply acted on Morgan. I don't think you have to eat and sleep and shit like that. Nonsense. You're Morgan. Your Oops. operators locked me out of the con terminal. We need to link up to the null wave device if we're gonna get that signal off before it's too late. Consider the risk. Alex's plan, if it works, is only a short-term solution. None of us has the right to endanger every life on Earth. If anyone's playing God here, it's you. Your lunatic plan denies everyone a birthright to the stars. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future, Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. I'm not arguing with a glorified desktop. Kill it, Morgan. Sorry, Morgan. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. You'll have to destroy me. Which means you'll be destroying yourself. Fine. I'll do it myself. Oh. I'm sorry, Morgan. I didn't want to harm your brother. The directives you gave me require I do everything in my power to ensure you destroy Talos I and all the Typhon. Detonating the station safeguards the Earth and perhaps provides a small measure of reparation. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. If you want to activate the Null Wave, you'll have to kill me. All right. The neuromod? Well, it's both an easy answer and a complicated one at the same time. It is the future, today. More importantly, our past, today. This is the work Transtar does, every employee working together. It's immortality, and it is beautiful. Really? There's after credits scenes. I mean, I'm gonna go and look and do the other ending too. How many endings are there? Because I've seen technically two now. I mean, the first one was not really. It was basically a failure. Credits didn't roll. Five, really? So there's the escape, and the neural wave transmitter that I just did, and then destroying the place. <laughs> That's cool.
Yeah, that'd be really good, huh? Since they can blink around. Only differ in the first pre credits scene. Okay, good. So I don't have to watch the credits. A billion times. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all of those variations. I guess it depends. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. Ah, oh, too bad credits in video games are like four hours long now. Actually, credits for everything nowadays are insanely long. But I think games are usually longer than movie credits. I know. I saw Guardians too. It's crazy. Five post credit scenes is too many. It's like, just have one. Like, what the fuck? The end.
And it was all a simulation. It's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind, or an attempt to integrate its dual natures. But its most surprising act was sparing Da, while perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos Y. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? It also found my father's records. And then, I did not expect this. But it let me listen to them. Despite the self-incriminating content, it was willing to make itself vulnerable. Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah? You're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to. But it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. There were a lot of humans controlled by the Typhon that it could have harmed. Seems like it went out of its way to avoid that. I think it's worth the risk. I did! In the end, it chose to activate the Nullwave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. Cool. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean really see us. Take my hand if you do. Kill them all? What does that mean? Oh, like kill them? Well, geez, why would I do that? Shake things up, like old times. Pretty cool. I like how they talked about what you actually did. I don't know. Alright, time to blow up the place. How do I do that? 
power plant. Wait, what if I kill Alex? He wouldn't be there in the after credits thing. You completed the game in the most empathetic way possible. That's the achievement I got. You think that was the most empathetic way possible? Okay. I guess. Type in Neuromod Overdose. I mean, yeah. After a thousand. It starts getting a little bit fucked up. After 2,000, you start getting a headache. Alex killed January. What? Idea hasn't occurred to How? You. I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the apex, but all my models point to suffering. Well, you're wrong. How did uh, Alex kill January in your ending? Because for me, he uh, he was trying to, and then January fucked him up. Yeah. <laughs> he just shot her. I wonder if it's random. There's no way. Yeah, same here, Ethan. That's what I was thinking. If you kill Alex for January, well, you can't kill Alex because you don't really see him. It's too bad you can't skip the credits to see the end credit scene. Maybe that changes it. Oh yeah, maybe. Engineering class operator ready to your Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, also I want this fucking side quest to finish, but it won't. I just have to wait, but I think I I started this like end part before he could finish it. Oh, it will? It's part of the blow scenario? Oh, okay. Whoops. 
Another dose of Morgan cell lights. Do it. Well, now that makes sense. Good work. The reactor's primed and capable of delivering close to 30 megatons. More than enough. I'll meet you on the bridge for the last part. Hurry, Morgan. There won't be anything left to detonate if we're too late. God damn it. Oh. to do that. It's gonna blow up anyway, who cares? Don't most people not like multiple ending things where it's like you play through the entire game and make all these choices and then at the end of the game you just make one final choice and that's actually what dictates what ending you get? Can you go through the entire game without killing any of the dark enemies? Maybe. I'm not sure. That's true. If 
you have multiple endings, you have to pull a Deus Ex and just combine them all. If you're addicted to the NPCs in post credit, you don't have a choice to just end you. Oh, well, that makes sense. I mean, they were, like, deciding on if they should let you live. Yeah. What'd they do for Mass Effect the Andromeda? I guess they just completely ignored Mass Effect 3, huh? Or, I don't know, maybe they talk about it. I have no idea. Microgravity detected. But like, that was the main... Yeah. That was the main complaint people had from for uh, Mass Effect 3 though, right? That's why people didn't like the ending. Because it's like, wow, I played through all these games and made choices throughout all of them. And the ending is decided just by this one fucking thing. Yeah, exactly. It didn't bother me that much, to be honest, because I already knew about it. And I also had the like better ending that they added, which helps, I guess. I mean... Morgan, Igwe, what's the update on our patient? Commander Dahl is making a speedy recovery, and we are making our way to the shuttle bay. Yeah, I same with Day's X Human Revolution. Yep. And... Fine, Morgan, I'll meet you in the shuttle bay. I mean, even the first Deus Ex, right? Who? What? Morgan. Morgan? Maybe. I, I see a person who looks like Morgan, you. Morgan, be cautious. Your brother is unstable. He may not permit you to activate the self-destruct. Also, he's armed. Unstable? Is that a joke, Operator? You've let this machine poison you. Did it tell you it's not going to let you off the station? Your brother is correct. When you destroy Talos 1, my directive is to ensure yeah. that you perish along it's kinda with like it. It's kind of like this game. You already knew that. It was your idea. No one in their right mind would agree to such a lunatic plan. Not true. History is populated with examples of self-sacrifice for the benefit of others. Easy to say when it's not your skin, robot. I'm sorry, Morgan. You have no idea what that word means. I'm going to put a stop to this nonsense. Wow. <laughs> Your brother is only stunned. Though obviously, once you activate the self-destruct... No, the he's dead. <laughs> you're still going to activate the self-destruct, aren't you? Please recall, I am acting on your orders. You killed Alex. Give the order to detonate. Captain Mark's terminal. Warning. Reactor detonation. It's finished. All the directives you gave me have been completed. All except one. When the station detonates, it will destroy the Apex Typhon and every trace of technology derived from it. Including you. But you know this already. It was your idea, after all. The alien neuromods you carry would pose an unacceptable risk to everyone on Earth if you returned. Have a seat, Morgan. You might as well enjoy the view in your final moments. Warning. Reactor detonation. Kayla, this is Morgan. Evacuate Are you on your way? One. I'm not going to make it. I wonder what happened if I killed her. Everything's fine. Midway through I this. I got one of the escape pods working. Are you sure? Morgan, something's wrong. Look, incapacitated doll. I failed it. There's no time. Trust me. 
I'll see you Earthside. Oh, you could still escape. Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. You can't skip it. Okay, good. Hey, I killed you. It's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally yeah. high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Oh, really? Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the lightner connectomes. They were of no practical use. Except that, they were deeply meaningful to me. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind. Or, an attempt to integrate its dual natures. But its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos Y. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? It also found my father's records. And then, I did not expect this. But it let me listen to them. Despite the self-incriminating content, it was willing to make itself vulnerable. Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Would you let it live? Hmm. Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to. But it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. There were a lot of humans controlled by the Typhon that it could have harmed. Seems like it went out of its way to avoid that. I think it's worth the risk. Alex, it killed you. No. Back then, <laughs> I would have done the same thing to me. Right. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos One. Why? To protect her? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. All I did was throw a chair at you. Yeah, I definitely am. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. Oh, still? Even though I blew it up? We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean really see us. Take my hand if you do. See you. How do I not? I don't... I don't understand.
Well, that was not good. I like the other ending more. Alright, well... Shit, thunder. Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's windy. All these endings are meaningless. Yeah. I like the ending that I got. First. Morgan, Sigway, what's the update on our fish? Commander Dahl is making a speedy recovery, and we are making our way to the shuttle bay. I have informed him of the threat to the station, and... Fine. Ooh. Morgan, I'll meet you in the shuttle bay. Morgan. <laughs> Morgan, everything... Please evacuate Talos 1. <laughs> the shuttle is ready to go, Morgan. I'll wait a few minutes before detonation. Yeah, I think so too. BTM. Alright, so... <laughs> Taking no shit this time. <laughs> Can you imagine Alex watching this in the simulation? He's like, what the fuck? Alright, so I gotta go to the shuttle bay. Is the fastest way through the guts or the lobby? Six minutes. Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please. Lobby. Yeah, the escape pod is just right there. Could get there in less than a minute. you noticed, but there's an alien on the ship, on the station. Warning, reactor Holy shit, the thunder. It's cool sounding. I know, for a second I thought it was too. Record deployment resuming. Sup, motherfucker? Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Whoa! Clear. Warning, 
reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Hollows 1. Hey, fellows. You made it. Look, I know what happened. You aren't solely to blame. You helped me and my officers when we needed it. I'll be sure to let Earthside know oh, what shit. you did to help us in the cargo bay. Right Reactor detonation. Doctor Yu, Morgan, it was an honor to work with you on Talos, and your brother. And thank you for retrieving Lightner's remains. Maya always loved the sound of his playing. I couldn't let it die with the station. His was a rare gift, and his skill should be shared. Not only with me, but with others. What? Now come the fireworks. I hope there'll be enough. You know, I thought you had left the station because of what happened between us. And that I had lied to you about my condition. I was angry with you. And myself. But I'm glad you are here with me now. And I like who you have become. You have my father's strength. <laughs> Thanks again for letting me out. I won't forget it. You are a real decent human being, Morgan Yu. I thought they wasn't gonna let me in at first. On account of this volunteer get up. Mom was right. You hear that, Mom? You were right. But it was my decision. Are you waiting for an invitation? Yes. I didn't come all this way to die now, Morgan. Put your ass in that seat. Okay. Ready or not, starting debark operations. Pre-flight check is who gives a shit. <laughs> Hang on to your seat. This will be a rough ride. We can't see. I kind of liked that one. Oh, I can't skip this one. I pressed escape last time. And it worked instantly. What the fuck? Well, I guess we have to dance. I was just gonna accept Alex's help again, but apparently it doesn't change anyway. So this is pointless anyway. <laughs> Hot patched, yeah. <laughs> I'm on time. Hey, Poppy. It was like 33 hours. Or something around there. 30. Alright. What achievements did I miss here? You killed every human on and around Talos 1. Yeah, I didn't really do that. Completed the game without ever acquiring any type and power or human ability. That's crazy. But I actually have a save. I might do that. Killed an enemy while using combat focus. I never got that. You mimicked 20 or more unique objects. I didn't really use mimic that much. Did you just get the whole game spoiled? No? You might if you stay though. You scanned your phantom shift duplicate with the psychoscope. Huh. Killed an enemy while you were lifted. You blasted yourself as an object for 20 meters while in normal gravity. You used Psychoshock on a human. What?
how to rate it. I think my main complaint about the game is probably the fact that it got really easy at like by the end of it, like the middle and end. The beginning of the game was the most fun, for sure. But then again, the beginning of like every game is the most fun. But I did enjoy how open it got at the end. Earlier I said this game was a 7 out of 10, but now it's an, it's an 8. No, I don't know. Actually, earlier I said 7.5. I'm gonna go with 7.9. Haven't seen what happened if January doesn't knock out Alex. Yeah, every single time, January knocked out Alex, and then I killed him. Or I killed them both. Instantly. God, why am I watching the credits again? I don't want to. It's weird how there's no, um... There's no achievements for beating the game on Nightmare difficulty. <laughs> like, they don't give a shit. Every other game does that. What's next? I don't know. The new Deus Ex was on sale for like 15 bucks or 20 bucks or something. And I thought about getting it. But it's no rush. Besides, I kind of want to play all of them again anyway. I've never played Invisible War, so... I like how there's an achievement to kill Alex, that's funny. Oh, here we go. Spoiler alert. If you don't want to see crazy spoilers, fucking jump out the window right now.
It's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to all the right. choices it Literally made. nothing changed. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the Lightner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind, or What's that sound? an attempt to integrate its dual natures. But its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos One. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Can I say that it has a heart? It also found my father's records. And then, I did not expect this. But it let me listen to them. Despite the self-incriminating content, it was willing to make itself vulnerable. Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to. Oh, look, my but hand. It did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. There were a lot of humans controlled by the Typhon that it could have harmed. Seems like it went out of its way to avoid that. I think it's worth the risk. Alex, it killed you. Back then, I would have done the same thing to me. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos One. Why? So I wonder what actually really happened to them. Were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. I mean, clearly they didn't destroy it. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. <laughs> I know what I was now, thinking. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. Sure, I'll marry you. We're gonna shake things up. Like old times. What does that mean? Like old times? Like more, like he's acting like you're Morgan. Total campaign time, 21 hours? Dude, that's in-game time, I guess, because my Steam time is 33 hours. But then I also have this. Anyway.